can dress them up, but you can't take them out. Are you getting a video of me? I am. Ooh. Look at those ticks. Can you Are turn it the other ticks? way and get the, get the vertical? I found some really cool snakes in Costa Rica last month. In fact, we went on a really cool sea snake expedition. Here is me, Ed, and two famous wildlife YouTubers that you probably already know. You're really going to want to see these incredible yellow sea snakes. But first, back to those ticks. Wow, what a beauty. It just looks, I want to get a closer look. Ooh, these are um, ticks. Uh that are on the snake. We're gonna take those off. Wow, but they look pretty infected. Mm. This is a uh, Chironius. It is a uh, whip snake or ebony keelback. Let's get a look at the face. Oh, what a beautiful snake. Oh. Wow. Very well fed. Very, very calm. Oh God, jeez. Wish I had something to wash your hands with. One more. I think we got all the ticks. All right, the ebony keel back, we're gonna let it go. We've removed the ticks. Wasn't it's okay, it buddy. Let's go this way. Going this way. No, where well. There it goes. Good luck, buddy. It's a fertilance, Torsiopelo. He's here for another day. Hasn't moved very much at all, if at all. Very tough to see, but it's a parrot snake. I still don't see it. Look closely. I see, it. I see it. Let's see if we can get in here and visit with it. What a beauty. What a beauty. Outstanding snake. We don't see them in the day very often. Sometimes we see them at night. All right, Mr. Parrot Snake. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. You sure are pretty. All right, another forest racer. It could be the salmon-bellied racer. I think they have a new name for it now, actually. Or it could be the barred forest racer. Anyway, pretty cute little snake, don't you think? Let's let this guy go right down into a hole. Cool. All right, we got a little snake here. Again, it's the same one we've been seeing. It's one of these racers. Hard to focus on that. There. Well, he's got, I'm not sure if one eye is bad or not. Kind of looks like it, huh? It's kind of curious. I guess it's left eye is bad. My right eye, our right eye. What a cute little fellow though. Second one in the morning. I'm gonna try to zoom out. Give you an idea of scale. 
where that little guy is. It just came out. He's much bigger than I thought. It's about three feet long. There's a look at that bad eye. Maybe he can shed it out. I don't know. Kind of cool. Check this out. That's his tail. The next morning at 6 a.m., we headed out by boat to find the yellow sea snakes. On board were Taylor and Rhett from the Toby's Troop YouTube channel, who were in Costa Rica for a birthday trip along with their friend Ed. And by 7 a.m., we were out on the Gulf of Dulce scanning the water for Hydrophis platurus xanthos, the yellow sea snake. Yellow-bellied sea snakes are widespread in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Their range extends from the California coast down through the Americas. The swirling currents in the Gulf of Dulce have trapped and isolated a population that have developed an almost entirely yellow skin. The venom is extremely toxic, but the snakes are quite calm. He is just chilling. The water pushes the wind. Yeah. Attracted the birds. <laughs> I know it's going to grab it. <laughs> <I'm> drowning. Good light to find them too. Is that one bigger too? He looks a little bigger. He's beefier. Wow, the speckles are so cool. Okay, now we got a little more range. That is just beautiful. I mean, who would think that that would work out here in the middle of nowhere, being the bright yellow? Yeah. Hey, it's not recording, I think. The shitty light here. Oh, did you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is such a beautiful freaking snake, man. I wish I had one of those cameras that, those uh, GoPro bubble lens things. Oh yeah. That's half and half. That would be really cool. got a snake sleeping snake maybe it's not sleeping it's a chironius which is a uh, heel back snake but we're gonna let it sleep until I go back to sleep blunt head tree snake that is it right there. 
pretty long snake to be such a small hatchling as you can see give you an idea right there very cool good luck buddy I'm going to loosen that thing up and flip him over to the other side of the road because this car's going to fall ass. Yeah, let me... Well, let me see if I can get him over. He shouldn't let go. Let me see. Come here. Let me get you. Take your meal. There you go. There you go. You still got it, huh? I think he's let go of it with his mouth, but I think he'll, I think he'll actually do it. All right, man. Well, we got one. Get it. Yep. Got a parrot snake. Let's see what it's going to do. This big old tree here. Hey, buddy. You going to go up that vine? Normally they go up. There he goes. This is a leaf frog, a gliding leaf frog. Tell by those yellow fingers. Cool. Check out this pretty little snake. Awesome. It is a cat-eyed snake. Yeah, oddly enough, our third snake of the night. This is a massive bonehead tree snake. Massive. Got to be close to five feet long. Got to be. Oof. Another quick view of the blonde head tree snake. It's really hard to tell where the head is and where the tail is. Of course, that's the tail. And the head's up over that little stick right there. There it is. Very cool.